The definition of a do-it-all gun is pretty loose sometimes. But if there's one thing certain, it's the fact that a do-it-all gun has to be versatile, which means that you should be able to use it to protect your home, hunt and gather food, and even deal with unexpected emergencies outside your property or camp. In a nutshell, the said firearm should ascertain your survival, especially in a post-apocalypse setting. Hey, this is your boy Ted from Line 45, and in this episode, I will be listing all the most recommended do-it-all guns for prepping and survival. I can double down that any of these guns can keep your life afloat in times when every bullet counts. But first, let me do this quick plug. Hit the like and subscribe button. You can see all those buttons below this video. I know it feels like a hassle, but those simple clicks mean a lot for my channel. Now, let's get back to the good stuff. Mossberg 590S Mossberg is just a reliable brand for affordable yet rugged pump-action shotguns. And I don't need to double-take on this anymore, since I've shot over a dozen Mossberg shotguns in my lifetime, and none of them sucked. Now there's a good chance that you're already familiar with the Mossberg 500, and if that's the case, then you'll love to check the Mossberg 590S. For starters, this one is the tactical version of the Mossberg 500. Its design includes an optics-ready receiver, two tube arms, multiple sighting options, and upgraded furniture. It weighs a little over 7 pounds and comes with a 20-inch barrel length. Moreover, this 12-gauge shotgun has the letter S on its name, meaning that it's a shotgun that accepts any shell length due to its customized tongue. Basically, the Mossberg 590S can shoot shells up to 3-inch shells, so from that threshold down to the minimum of 1.75 inches, it's quite clear that this shotgun can shoot a variety of shells with ease. Depending on the load you use on it, this thing can tackle creatures as large as bears. For home defense, even the most affordable buckshot should be enough. On the flip side, the Mossberg 590S has some quirks that you need to get used to. For starters, it is a large shotgun, and it might be difficult to yield for beginners. And unlike other pump-action shotguns, the 590S needs your two hands to operate it. But once you can get past these factors, the Mossberg 590S will serve as a great do-it-all gun. Glock 20 Truth to be told, a do-it-all gun doesn't have to be overly spectacular. That's a misconception that I want to toss out of the window fast. Instead, the ideal do-it-all firearm should have a tested and proven performance, similar to Glock pistols. But among the Austrians, I see the Glock 20 as the perfect fit for a survival firearm. Of course, I can put the Glock 19 or Glock 17 here on a case-to-case -case basis, but the Glock 20 is arguably the better choice because of its firepower. You see, the Glock 20 is chambered in the 10mm, a cartridge larger than 9mm. This makes the gun extra potent in dealing against games and potential aggressors that could come along your way. It's an effective tool in taking down deer or similarly sized game, but when the situation calls for it, the gun can be used as a capable man-stopper. Keep in mind that we are talking about a 10mm gun here, so even bulky targets aren't safe. Moreover, the Glock 20 is a full-size pistol, so even if it's a polymer pistol, it still shoots 10mm rounds controllably. Sure, its ergonomics aren't the best and the entire thing is blocky, but come on, anyone can still wield it. You can get the Glock 20 right now in its Gen 5 configuration. It has a capacity of 15 rounds and features upgrades that aren't present in the previous generations such as the safe action system and the marksman barrel. Its improved frame texture is also a very welcome change as it offers non-abrasive traction. It also has a modular backstrap system that lets you find the perfect fit for your hands. Remington 870. I cannot short shell the Remington 870, especially if we are talking about the best do-it-all guns. This shotgun is an ideal choice for different applications including self-defense and survival. But just like the Mossberg 500 or 590S, it's also a thorough firearm for hunting and gathering food. Over the years, the Remington 870 lineup continued to expand. If we are just strictly limiting ourselves to survival and prepping, I suggest that you go with its synthetic field and home variant. It's a bit expensive, with one unit costing roughly $600. But for its price, it already gives a host of useful features. It comes in two barrels. One is a 26-inch barrel that uses a rem choke system, which means that it can use a myriad of choke tubes. 
Of course, this will let you tinker with the spread of the shots, which in turn lets you deal with a variety of shooting conditions. The other barrel is an 18.5-inch cylinder bore. Obviously, it's meant for tactical and home defense use, thanks to the absence of a choke. In close-quarter combat, this barrel is the fitting choice, not to mention the fact that a cylinder bore design ensures that the Remington 870 is compatible with both slugs and buckshot. Iwi Tavor X95 A bullpup rifle like the IWI Tavor X95 is a good alternative to your standard semi-auto rifles. Now don't get me wrong, when it comes to emergencies and SHTF situations, having an AR is really assuring. But if that option is not available, and you need something that is equally potent and versatile, bullpup rifles should be your next bet. I can support this argument by explaining the general schematics of the IWI Tavor X95. You see, this bullpup rifle has its magazine and action placed behind the trigger. This design shortened its length, but is still able to keep a 16.5-inch barrel on its architecture. In short, the IWI Tavor X95 has a short body, but with a full-length barrel. Basically, this tells you that you can carry this gun anywhere. It gives you the opportunity to conceal it from the public eye, and once the time you need, you can take and shoot the gun in a breeze. It's also worth telling that it is not difficult to operate this rifle. It uses a gas piston system, which is clean and reliable. Plus, the Tavor X95 feeds on your typical AR mags, so there should be no worry whether you can find magazines for it or not. A bullpup rifle like the Tavor X95 excels at close quarter fights. Its short size gives it agility and maneuverability. So even if you are in a small room, the X95 will still feel like a pistol. But hey, you can never underestimate its long distance capabilities too. With a proper setup, it can hit targets as far as 200 to 250 yards. Ruger 1022 Takedown I guess this is not an entry that can surprise you anymore, but for those who are still new to guns and prepping, let me introduce you to the Ruger 1022 takedown. The Ruger 1022 takedown is a practical and heavily favored choice for a survival weapon, and that's for a number of reasons. For one, the 1022 is one of the most affordable and readily available rifles in the United States. You can find and buy it at various local gun stores with relative ease. Even its ammo is dirt cheap. At the same time, the Ruger 1022 takedown is effective in various applications. It is a good hunting firearm, as well as an effective weapon for taking down trespassers or two-legged threats. Well, you might argue that a 22 long rifle firearm like the Ruger 1022 is too weak to do anything. But here's my counter to that. Have you ever been shot with one? Would you really be able to tell if you got hit by a 9mm or a 22 long rifle? At the end of the day, anyone is afraid of being shot by a gun. Another advantage of the Ruger 1022 is that it's lightweight and compact. In cases where you need to move by foot, the travel-friendly quality of this firearm will come in handy. Of course, that doesn't mean that you can't use this inside your home. Its small architecture lets you maneuver it on tight corners, and since the 22 long rifle isn't explosive, you can guarantee that it won't wreck walls or hit innocent bystanders on the other side. Mossberg 500 Field Security This rundown is not complete without the Mossberg 500. I know that the Mossberg 590S is an excellent option for a do-it-all gun, but when it comes to tested and proven reliability, nothing comes close to the Mossberg 500 series. For survival and prepping, I guess you need to prioritize the field security model. With the proper ammo, I am pretty sure that this 12-gauge gun can do virtually any shooting task in the field, thanks to the interchangeability of its barrel. For example, you can outfit the shotgun with its 28-inch barrel if you wish to hunt birds or small games. I like this barrel because it lets you swap its chokes. You can also opt for its 18.5-inch bore barrel that pairs with a pistol grip. This setup allows me to fire slugs and buckshot if I need to deal with serious threats. The Mossberg 500 field security is also durable. I have no qualms about that. It might not be refined on the edges, but this thing can take a beating. Heck. You can even use it to melee your enemies once you run out of bullets. Unfortunately, the reach of this Mossberg shotgun is quite limited. You must be in the practical distance before you can use this firearm to damage your target. Mossberg addressed this by offering optional scope mounts and rifled slug barrels to the shotgun. These add-ons won't make the gun a long-range hitter, 
but if your target is just within 100 yards, these upgrades will do you the favor. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.